there's a lot of motherfuckers out there who are just sort of in a sleepwalk right now. And and yes. I, I and I run up against this all the time. And I I found there's now a term for it called NPCs, mm-hmm. and I don't even know what it stands for. But it seems to me, yeah, have you heard this before? NPCs? Mm-hmm. Look it up. I don't even know what it means. We don't have to do it right now, but um, it stands for something. It's an acronym. But yeah, it yeah. seems to yeah, it seems to me that there is a, a certain percentage of the population of people that are not actually real that they're just sort of playing a role and that's the only role they'll ever play and i'm i'm not not i'm not trying to steal information or context from the movie matrix but like the matrix was a documentary and i'm sort of seeing like all of these people that you meet and some of them go on to do these amazing things and then some of them are just they're never going to do anything because that's all they ever want to do and they're maybe they're not meant to do anything other than that right now and i don't really understand all that well so you know we're working against forces that are so powerful and so overwhelming and so fucking like we're just like submersed in these forces that it's like not a surprise that most people are sleeping walk, sleepwalking through their life what forces we are we are told our by our culture our society our family our community our peers you know like the internet every film tv show every song. so the con the context influencers those are what you're calling the forces you're yeah, not saying like, like there's some outside demigod like, playing with us no 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 like real the forces of humanity the forces of our culture mm-hmm. are telling us who we are supposed to be mm-hmm. what we are supposed to want what we are supposed to work towards how we are supposed to look how we are supposed to dress who we are supposed to want to date who we are supposed to want to marry who we are supposed to want to fuck they like the powers that be which is this our collective culture that we're all a part of is telling us every second of every day that we're not enough and that we need to be a certain way to be happy and successful. And so most people go through these motions. I want to be a good person. I want to achieve what I'm supposed to achieve. I'm going to do what everyone else is around me is doing. I'm going to study this because it'll make me a lot of money. I'm going to go to this school. I'm going to wear these clothes because these are the clothes that my friends wear. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to want this. I'm going to date this woman who's like, everyone wants to date her and now she's mine. But I feel fucking nothing when I look at her, you know, and then you get married and then you get the house and then you have children and you're like, I'm supposed to have children, but you hate being a dad. You know, like people are just going through the motions because we are told what to want, and how to behave. And we feel nothing. We feel absolutely nothing. That's I I love break down. Yeah, they do break down. I love that. I actually had this thought a couple of Sundays ago where I was lying in bed and I was sort of thinking about my Instagram and how my Instagram really is not seen by many people anymore. And and I started thinking about the algorithm behind it and how it works and how it functions. And then I started like going down this rabbit hole, big surprise. But the the way the social media algorithm works is literally like a direct metaphor for how life works because they're giving us this construct and you just talked about it where, you know, they put us in these chairs in elementary school and we sit in these straight lines and we can't fucking talk. We can't smile. We can't do anything. And then we have to walk in a straight line through the hallways to get to, to the outside. And we get 15 minutes in the sun. And then they bring us back in. And that fucking paradigm goes on forever. And then you, you graduate and you have to get a degree. And then you have to go to college. And then when you get in college, you have to sit in your chairs and get professored by by people who are just been teaching the same shit for the last 30 years. And then you graduate and you get a diploma. And then you move on. You have to take a job. Then you have to sit in a cubicle. And it's like, these constructs exist to basically radicalize down our critical thought for us. And social mm-hmm. media is the same fucking thing. It literally, anyone who deviates from the, the trend, the trending audio, the trending filter, the trending topic, anyone who doesn't play within the, the parameters of the game of social media, their content is literally put to the bottom of the list and they're, they're never seen. It's, it's and nobody gets, and anyone who does critical thought or has, has ideas around stuff that are creative or genius or go against like what you're doing, you are penalized and you're told, you know, you're put into the, into the, into the box of the timeout box and all these sorts of things. And it's like, how the fuck do you ever get through all of that? Like, how do you break that? How do you break that construct so you can get to the other side? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's tough. Like I think, You have to come to a point in your life where you really want to understand who you are and you want to get what you want despite the consequences. 
it takes a lot of courage to live outside our social construct. It's, it takes a lot, you know, and even people like myself, which like on the outside looking in, it looks like I'm like a wild and free creature. And I certainly am. There are a lot of ways that I'm still stuck in this fucking hamster wheel with everyone else. Mm, yeah. And finding people who are outside of that hamster wheel for you, whatever that means to you is, is unique. But that's how, I mean, that's one of the ways that you're gaining your freedom is you're finding other people who yeah. that can associate with you and don't hamper you and don't discipline you and don't judge you for your for your unique and outside yeah. of the paradigm context perceptions and observations of things.